Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will continue with chapter reaction kinetic. We still will be in the topic 8.1, rate of reaction. Just as a reminder again, in this topic, we have 8.2 and 8.3 as well. In previous video, we already discussed objective A, B, C. In this video, we will focus on objective D. Let's go to tutorial question number three. We need to know the explanation or the term for red law, red constant, and also half line. Now let's check what is the meaning of red law. Another term for red law also can consider as red equation. So from the name equation, basically we already can see here this other equation. So the definition for it is show that the relationship of the rate of reaction to the red constant so this is the red constant and the concentration of reactants only rise to some power okay so here is referred to concentration for the reactant and then rise to some power the power in the red law are represented by the x and y which actually is referred to order of reaction the order of reaction is determined experimentally it is not from the stoichiometry follow in the balanced chemical equation generally we have three types of reaction one is the first or sorry zero order of reaction when the order is zero so the power here will be zero Power 1 means that the order of reaction is first order and power 2 means that the rate of uh, sorry the order of reaction is second order. Based on the red law here, you will be able to sketch the graph rate of reaction versus the concentration. So for the zero order, no matter what is the concentration of A, when power to the zero, it is always equal to one. One times K always equal to K. So that means concentration of the reactant will not affect the rate of reaction for zero order reaction. While for the first order reaction, when the concentration is increased, the rate of reaction also will be increased. But for the second order, the rate of reaction will increase exponentially with the factor of 2 if the concentration of A is increasing. Next is the reaction order. Basically, the definition for reaction order is sum of the powers to all of the reactants. Uh, when we look at the term sum, we know it is total. That means we are referring to the all reactants. The value of the order of reaction can be 0, 1, 2, 3. Even though we read the value as 0, 1, 2, 3, but we will say that this is 0 order, first order, second order, and also third order. Even fractional numbers also accepted. However, never negative value so if I want to let ask you what is the order of reaction which involve reactant A and B so you just need to total up the power of X and Y let's look at the example here determine the reaction order with respect to each reactant and then overall order of reaction if you still remember in the previous slide we mentioned about that when we want to know the order of reaction we are not going to focus on the chemical equation but we're going to focus on the red law so for the first equation we only have one reactant which is the CH3CHO so the order of reaction is 3 over 2 Again, just now we have mentioned the order of reaction can be zero order, first order, second order, and even in the fraction, only cannot be in negative value. B, 
for this equation, we have two reactants. One is H2O2 and the other one is I negative. So according to the red law here, when there is no power here, means that it is power to 1. So order of reaction respect to H2O2 is first order, while I negative also first order. But the overall order of reaction will equal to second order. How about red constant? So red constant represent by the symbol of K. Generally, it is proportion to the reaction rate and the concentration of the reactant. So the unit of the red constant will able to help us to determine the order of reaction. So if the order is zero order, so the power here will be zero. Any value to the power of zero is equal to one. And then the unit for rate of reaction always is molar per second. So with this, the unit for the rate constant will be molar per second. So we can use the similar method to determine the unit for the rest constant for first order. So we replace the concentration is in the unit of molar. So if I want to find the unit of red constant, so it will be K molar per second over molar. Molar and molar cancel out. So the unit for the red constant for first order is per second. Next, we look at the second order. So here will be power of 2. So molar to the power of 2 will equal to power, m to the power of 2. So if again, when I want to determine the unit of the k, so just move this to another side. And then now the unit remaining is per molar per second. Molar m, m to the power of 2, you can cancel out 1. So will be per molar per second. Now let's look at the term for the half-life. This is the symbol of half-life. And then the definition for half-life is the time required when the concentration becomes half of its initial concentration. Generally, there are three formula for half-life. First formula is initial concentration over 2K, which represents the order, the half-life for a zero order. And then ln 2 over K is the formula half-life for first order. So if you don't want to remember ln 2 over K, you also can remember 0 0.693 over K. And then the formula half-life for second order is 1 over K. Uh, to the initial concentration. Okay, after knowing that different order of reaction will give us different formula for the half-life. So let's look at the tutorial question objective number four and number five. So before we continue, let's list down the formula of the half-life for zero, first and second order. At 25 degrees Celsius, First order reaction is half completed in 6 to 5 seconds. So means that this 6 to 5 seconds is referred to half life. What is the red constant? The symbol for red constant is K for this reaction. So because of now here question given us the half life value and then we need to find out the red constant so we can refer to the formula of half life for first order which is half life equal to ln 2 over k. So because we need to find out the k value, so it will be ln 2 over half line value. So by press the calculator, you are able to get the answer is A. Number 5, the half life of a radioactive element is 10 minutes. Okay, so this is the half life. So to keep in mind that if the question let us know the reaction is radioactive, decomposition or involve radioactive element basically this reaction is first order reaction okay. first order reaction 
And then what is the time taken when 75% of the mass of the element has decomposed? So when we look at the formula half-life for zero order, first order and second order, only the formula for the first order is constant. It will not affected by the initial concentration. So in other words to say, you have to keep in mind also, for first order reaction, the half-life is always same. Okay, no matter how the concentration change. So initially is 100%. So when the radioactive element decompose into half, means that left 50%, it will take 10 minutes. And then 50% of the radioactive become half which means it will have 25% left and this process will get another 10 minutes so here say that 75% is decomposed so in other words to say is 25% remain so by adding the 10 minutes plus another 10 minutes so the answer is C Okay, after knowing the terms of rate of reaction, rate constant, order of reaction, and also the half-life, let's go through one objective question, which are related with what we already went through. Objective question number two, they ask us, if the order of reaction is zero order, which of the following is correct? So S is a catalyst, it's wrong, we are not mentioned about catalyst before and then it is not involved in the overall reaction equation we cannot say like that because the reactant x will still appear in the red law only its concentration does not affect the rate of reaction so the option donkey is correct answer now let's look at this equation the above reaction is first order respect to iodide, so that's mean I negative is iod uh, first order, and also to first order to trisulfate ion, which is S2O8 to negative, this one also first order. Write the red law for the reaction, so red law is rate equal to rate constant to the concentration of the reactant, S2O8 to negative rise to power of 1 because it is first order and also I negative to the power of 1 so if in this case if you didn't want to show the power of 1 is okay no problem because mathematically we know anything that without the 1 is means power to 1 next question what is the unit of the red constant? So, as we know, the unit for the rate of reaction always is molar per second. And then equal to the unit of the red constant, we have no idea. Maintain as K. Concentration, the unit for concentration, S2O8 to negative is M. And then concentration to the I negative also M. So, and then the value, the unit of K is molar per second over m square so m and m can be cancelled out and up the unit will remain per molar per second part c what is the overall order of reaction as we know overall order of reaction is the total order for each reactant in this question we only have two reactants and each of them is first order so the overall order equate or overall order of reaction is equal to 1 plus 1 which we have to write the terms in second order okay we are not going to write two but we are going to use the wording second order last example that we're going to discuss here again the question gives us the equation and also the red law what is the overall order of reaction? We have to refer to the red law. From the red law, H2SEO3, no power here, so means that 
is first order. And then I negative power to 3, H plus power to 2. So the overall order means generally is 1 plus 3 plus 2 equal to 6, which we will mention it is 6 order. Question B, what is the unit of the red constant? As usual, red equal to K concentration for the m to the power of 1, concentration m to the power of 3, and concentration m to the power of 2. So k will equal to molar per second is the unit for rate of reaction, and then m to the power of 6. So m cancel out 1, so will be m negative 5, and then per second. So this is the unit for the red constant. So I think in this video, you are going to know the meaning of red law, red constant, order of reaction, and also the half-life. In next video, we are going to discuss further about more calculation. Thank you for watching this video. See you again.